so please do so everyone go to test tab in the yesterday's request go to test tab in yesterday's request and just type in the same function below whatever we have written in this status code we validated this one 401 but i want to validate this message response message how can you validate this response message just write same command pm dot response so if you write just type res automatically you'll get there select that dot to dot have dot so you will get automatically unauthorized you you type so automatically you will get unauthorized to be yeah to be so b you type two after b you type two after b you type then you can see unauthorized automatically see you have a success you have unauthorized so many options will be there so select the unauthorized so that's it semicolon you put so even I, I am validating this message also, response message also. So what is the command you have to write? PM dot response dot to dot B unauthorized. So how to validate the status code? PM dot response dot to dot have dot status 401. Okay. And so how to validate this headers? Headers are these headers are there, right? So these headers, how to validate? So you are getting right these headers. How you can validate content type? Is there or not a response headers? Same there, same way, pm dot response dot to dot have dot header. So you give the header. In the response header, I am just checking. So what is the response header I'm checking? Content type. Content hyphen type. So if you want to validate this response headers, any of the response headers you want to validate, you can use this. Okay. That is the, so few more validations extra. Control S you do. After doing this, do a control S. Okay. So few more validations we did. And at the same time, I want to validate the response body. So this response body, I want to validate this one. How can I validate this re response body? So how to validate this response body? How can I take name value? How can I validate message value? So what is the path? Can you tell me this path? This is the path. You have to follow this. So can you tell me hierarchy? First, this one, there is no name here. Then what is the next name? Error. What is the next error? These are error fields, right? These are all error fields, right? So error is the parent. Parent below, these are name. the chain. Name. name. You want name, how to write? This entire response, entire response dot, the parent dot, the field. Name. Yeah. So that's hierarchy. Are you clear? This entire response, entire response. So that you are going to write a one variable we are going to take. This entire response we are going to take into one variable. That variable dot next to this here now, no name is there. This JSON is empty. So next name is error. So JSON response dot error. Error dot name. So automatically you will get this value. Okay. Is this clear? So here you can check. Here you can check here. Response body contains a string. Response body JSON value check. So what do you want to do? Response body is equal to string. So what do you want to check? You can have already here methods. Just choose one of them. So I'll select a response body is equal to string. 
see another method i'm i'm ad adding here so response body what you should what you are expecting and i'll i'll add a few more also here response json value check so uh, this is the outside you will do that another so let me delete this delete everything so i'll take a json value pm dot test your test name function where json data pm dot response dot json see automatically you are getting so this json data is the this is the one very important you need to understand this line so i'll write a validating the response body ramesh you choose response body json value check that yes. snippet yes yes okay. thank you validating the response body fields just give that so validating the response body fields so select the json value check so first this is the very very important first line so what this first line you doing this entire json body you are getting into one variable this is the where is the data type where is the data type in the javascript so like you will write int right in the java so like that for any variable this is the json data is a variable name so this variable data type is a var so any variable you are giving any type so you are giving a var json data equal to pm pm is postman dot response dot json you are telling okay this entire thing you give in the json format that's what you are telling so that's the this first thing so is this clear first one for everyone okay now from this json data what is there now this is entire thing is a json data this entire thing in this json data you have a this this curly bracket then this error then this way, name messages so now you can validate it i am expecting json data dot value what you want so what value you want you are expecting so what value you are expecting so i want json data dot i want name so name means what is the path of name curly bracket dot error dot name json data dot json data already Excellent. json data represent this entire thing madam whatever in the body right this is response body mm -hmm. this entire part is a json data after that what is the next path error 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 name error error after what is the next you want what you want Name. name, name. I want name, right name. So you are coming proper order, the path, complete path you are getting. So this is called a JSON path. So then to equal what you are expecting, this is a this name should be equal to this one. I am expecting this. That's it. Same way. message i want to validate the messages also right pm dot expect so expect you are expecting so the name value json data dot error dot message message so this message dot to equal eq so equal is there eq is there what whatever you want you can keep it so this is all chai framework so see chai assertions we call them chai assertions we call them and just give this message so this is so this is all string right you have to give in double quotes so we miss it here double quotes please give in double quotes so here also you have to give in double quotes variables you do you are not going to give but a string means you have to give a in double quotes okay so this is the another test case this is the one test case 
And this is the one test case. Two test cases we added. Everybody clear on this, how to get the fields, field yeah. values. Yeah. 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 Can I share my screen once I didn't get the below part? I think something is hiding from me. Can I share it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So all are clear. Anybody having a problem writing this? Ramesh, we get all this information like authentication error and message from the developer, right? Documentation, in the documentation. In the documentation, okay. Everything in the documentation. If you have to, that is called Swagger document, we call that. Or some, they will give a document, API documentation, we call that. So I am showing, that's why I'm, I'm asking read wow. our documentation. Uh -huh. I'm telling read the documentation. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ramesh. Yeah. Any okay. other questions? Okay. Control S, you do. Automatically, it will save. Okay. Now, I want to. Okay. We'll do that uh, no, later. This is just missing the token key. API key is missing here. This request, I'll change it to token missing. I'll change the rename this to token missing. So just uh, rename this request as a, I'm renaming. How to rename the request? Right click on that. So rename. So I'm going to rename token missing. That's it. See, I renamed it. Token missing, completely token missing. That's one test case. So token malformed I will give, token invalid I will give. So these are the different test cases. So you can tell all this token, how you can test APIs miss. Some API is used to generate the token. The token generation after you're using somewhere, but you copied incorrectly and giving incorrect token, then will it work or not? So you have to test, right? Positive case is giving a proper token ID. Negative test case is first to miss the token, one test case. That's what I have shown you here. Second negative test case, invalid token. Third test case, Token malformed. That means not properly uh, given. So this is the all uh, say different cases you need to test. Okay. Let's go and generate the token and go and create a new request. So I'm going to create a new request. So I, I'll create a new folder or I'll get calls. So get collections, uh, new folder I'll create. This is the one folder, right? I'll create a new folder. So create a new folder. Click on three dots, add folder. The folder name I'm giving. Get collections. Get collections. So this is the folder. This folder inside, I need to add a request. So my first request is click on add request or mouse over here. Click on that add request. So the request is get all collections. That's the first request. So here I need to provide so get all collections means I have to, my method is a get method only. So first I told you, remember all these points. First HTTP verb method you have to select. Then URL, endpoint URL, go here. So copy this endpoint URL. This is the get all collections endpoint. Give the get all collections endpoint. 
So done. Then go to headers. So select the accept. Sir, every time I need to copy this, you don't need. So I'll, I'll, to, I'll show you how to do that. So you don't need to copy. Application JSON. Gee, see, one line only I'm typing, one letter only I'm typing. So content type, application JSON. Just quickly, you can do that. That's why you have to make it fast. That you need to learn. If you use mouse also, it will become very fast and try it out. And uh, these are the headers. But so can you see here in our API documentation? I need to pass authorization API key. This request is using an authorization helper from collections, Postman API. So where is this? You go to our blog and you have authorization key generation. So open this in the new tab. So maybe it will ask you to log in. So you have to, if you don't have account, create an account. Otherwise, sign in with the Google. So anything is uh, fine. Can you please put that uh, URL in the chat, Amish? So you will land in this generating the token, the API key, API key generation page. How many of you landed in this? In any name. So click on generate API key and give the name. So most man. Token. I share my screen, sir. Postman token. Generate API key. Click on generate API key. So it is generated. Make sure you copy this API key now. This is the only time you will see it encrypted. Copy to clipboard. And then what is the problem, madam? Something big name. No, I just given a postman token. Okay. This is after generation. Oh, after I have generation. completed that first field. After clicking on generate, then I got this my token. Okay, okay. I got my token now. Token is ready for me. Okay, I got it. Okay, copy it to clipboard and go to postman. You can give directly in the headers or you can give in the authorization. So go, just go and give the header section. I'll tell you. X hyphen API hyphen key is there, right? Can you see? Just to type X hyphen in yes, the header yes, section. Yes, yes, yes. Like yeah, that. And paste in the value place that token. That's it. Just paste there and uh, come back to the next. Save it. Control S. Yes. So this request is going to give you 200 status code. Oh. So I want to go to test tab. Everybody done this till this part. Select yes. the get method, URL given, headers given, and token generated. The token value we are given. Yes, Till this part, everybody done? Yes, Ramesh. Yes, yes, Ramesh. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, now go to yes. test tab. Anybody pending still? Okay. Let's move on to the test tab. Now we need to do a validation. How to do validation? If you are not talking, I'm not going to stop. Other people are responding. Whoever so is still slow, you should wait, ask, wait. And if you don't ask, how do I know? Hmm? Okay. No response for that also. Good. Very good. Move. Status code is 200. We want. Okay. Just select this. So right here, get all collections. 
status code validation or status code validating first right out uh, otherwise validating get all collections status code is 200 pm dot response dot to have so 200 next i'm going to read pm dot response dot to dot b dot okay so okay 200 okay you will get that i am validating 200 okay i'm going to get that i am validating so status code validated then response message validated we're good so let's hit the send button see that 200 is validated okay also validated so test results go and see that validating get all collections and go to body and you can see all the collections maybe you might not have many collections but i have many collections so i have so many collections because i created so many that's why in my postman i have so many collections you, you might get one or two don't worry it's okay see um, yeah uh, ramesh i think my test case failed i don't know what i missed can you can i share my screen so did you give status code madam what is the error can you tell me um So every uh, AP only this telling Ramesh. What is that? Read, madam. Read. Why are you uh, reading? Invalid API key. Every request requires a valid API key to be sent. Did you give that? Did because... you give that, madam? This is what I was asking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. Yes. Then you uh, you have you haven't given a proper one. Your API uh, key is wrong. One second. I'll share my screen. Mm. Your AP key is wrong. Once you again, I just get copied message. everything, whatever I... Go and show me. Yeah, so here, I just copied everything, see? Copied your clipboard? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now it copied. Uh, before also I copied, Ramesh. Ah, okay. I now copied then and then only I... Go to just... headers? Yeah, I see. So remove that entire yeah. thing. Okay, delete. Press enter key, come to the next row, come to the next row, click on next row. Any row, any click me down next row. Uh. Okay. So now save it, control S. Yeah, I did. Control it. S, you do. Yeah, I did. Okay, now hit the send button. Okay. So get all the assertion, expected response to have status code 200, but got 401. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so I Go go there. Go to the test tab. Okay, here. Yeah. No, it is okay. You uh, authorization is not taking properly. Go to headers again. Headers. Okay. What you have given? X if an AP. Why it's not taking? HTTPS slash collections. It's correct only. Accept to. Save a key. To body, go to body. Okay. Unauthorized means it is not here. Invalid AP key. Okay, so go to the AP key. Go to AP key. Okay. Oh, that's not the time. Not mm. So close this. Okay. One more time, generate. Generate one another one. Okay. Give the the body is showing wrong, Ramesh, actually. Um, so we see. I think the snippet uh, she huh? put wrong thing. Yes. Yes. <coughs> no, no, no. Uh, that's okay. There is no problem. But uh, first of all, the API key is not recognizing. Okay. Postman token. Copy. Now go. 
Delete this one. Delete everything. Okay. okay. Come down. Okay. Now who save it? Yeah, I did. Okay. So send keys. Why is not taking? Collections. Go to authorization tab. Okay. Params, 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 okay. you know. Just give here uh, a save. API key, just give API key. No, no spaces, no spaces. MSCX okay. API, right? We need to select. No, here you can give API key. Okay, okay. Okay, then you give their value. What is the value of the application? Test it, no, madam. AP key, oh, why? Yeah, AP key. Okay. Yeah, yeah present key. So, AP key uh, name, we have to go key name where properly. So, let me check. API A1 key. Thank you. Get that. Can you hit now? Try eating. Okay. APA. You got it? No. No, no. Same issue. Yeah. I have also same. You remove this. Remove this. This one. Which one? The params one. Uh, this Here one. in the head. Headers. Headers you keep and the params you remove that. Okay. Remove, uncheck that, just uncheck it. Okay, go to headers. Go to headers. So, because you are first time, right? Okay. So, you have only one or two. That's it. Ramesh, okay. at least it should show at least one collection, right? If it is not showing, that does that mean it has some errors? No problem. Okay. Even though you, you might not have also, it's okay. You are getting 200, okay? I'm getting 200, okay, and collections colon, that's all. There is no data under collections. Yeah, you don't have any collection. We'll create a collection now, okay? Okay, thank you. So, next, let's move on to the, we'll create a collections. So, next one, uh, create another folder. Create another folder. So, right-click on the collection name, add folder. You're not sharing your screen, sir. Okay, so right click on the collection name. So right click on the three collection name and three dots. You click on three dots, add folder. Add folder. Click on add folder. So give the folder name as a create collection. See, another collection is created. So again, you expand this. You can add request. Rabesh, can, add can request. you open the get all collections? Uh, get all collections in the yeah. head, header part or the test part? Test part. Okay, Ramesh. Thank you. So now create collection. Just give the name, rename it. Rename it. 
create collection. So again, same, same thing you have to do. Accept obligation JSON content type application JSON and uh, XAPI key. So give the token ID. Go and copy the token ID. So the create collection, see what is the API, what is the method name, everything. See, go here. If you expand on the right hand side in the documentation, you have a post create a collection. Click on this create a collection. There is a post method. So go and select the post method. Click on this first, it will take you to that page. So the, the end point URL is a this one. Copy the end point URL. So give the URL and method is a post method. Method is post method. This endpoint URL you have to give. So headers we have given, endpoint URL we have given, method we selected, save it. See now method name change it to post. Met the name we have given, create collection. So headers we have given. Then we have to give body, right? Oh, create means what? Mandatory, you have to give an input, right? So go and copy the input from the our documentation. So here you have a C. We already given here. Sample. So copy this. Just copy this. Click on this copy. That's it. You don't need to worry about it. Just copy it. So body. Click on copy. And come to the body part. Select the raw radio button. Click on this inside this one and paste that. Okay. Paste it. That's it. So this is the entire collection. So these are the parameters, collection name, collection. Uh, schema URL, everything you can parameterize also this one. Okay, you can parameterize that. So I haven't given much. Okay, fine. That's okay. So in anyway, it will create, you will get the, this is the sample, okay. Or oh, not this one, you copy this one, uh, sorry. That you remove, this you remove. That's what I got a doubt. There will be a lot of data. So delete that. Below one, so request. This is the request. So, okay, this is the request body. So, this request body you have to you have to give this from here to till end. You have to copy. So, from where? Don't copy the data. So, curly bracket onwards. This data after curly bracket is there, right? From there to till end. So end, there is a single quote. So remove the single quote. Don't copy the single quote. So what is what you need to do? So this is the one. Don't confuse. Here is the request. Post method below. This post create a collection below. You have a, this is the raw data, but you don't need that raw data. We want a request. Example they are giving. So click on this, uh, view more. Click on view more. Data after curly bracket is there. So curly bracket onwards till the end. But the end, there is a single quote. Don't copy single quote. Don't copy single quote. Just select it, control C. And yeah. go and paste. How to reach this page? URL, we have a URL, uh, Vijay, in our blog, APA documentation. Blog? Okay. okay. In the blog, there is a APA document. Can somebody ping in the chat? I think it's there in the chat, right? So initially, Manju or uh, Vandana pinged there. 
initial first uh, that one only i think okay okay got it one eleven yes. that's it so here it is you have to paste this entire data input data so you have to give input data to this post method i told you anything you are creating there must be a data you have to give input data in the body part select the body select the raw radio button in the body and give your data if you want to change it so test collection i can give my collection name feb 14th 2023 i can remember right so that's why i'm giving my own name this collection makes a request to the postman whatever you want you change it so i can give this post so i'll making changes my own data i'm giving okay so post that's it okay so these are the some of the changes i made and uh, name i have given my own name and uh, so the description whatever you want you change it good method is a post method url headers headers we selected uh, accept content type and x api key check if the values are coming or not like manju faced issue right this is the key value pair you can go to bulk edit so you can see here if not there you can just paste it here you can write here also okay then you can switch back to key value edit format click on this it will go to this one bulk edit you can bulk you can edit it like this okay are we good then select the body this one and give the data so you can beautify if for example not proper you can just click on beautify it will beautify the json so now test tab i want to add a test tab so in the test tab so i have to add status code let's go and add that as a status code and bottom side also there is one more and uh, status code name as a string status code successful post request i can give another one see this one status code successful post request this is a post request i am going to give that so post request i am giving see so i want to introduce one more new thing here so first one is pm dot test status code is create collection create collection status code is 200 okay this will pass otherwise i'm giving one more option successful post request pm dot expect pm dot response dot code to be one of either 201 or 202 so any one i am saying so but 202 uh, is not there now as of now this is a 200 any one either 201 or 200 you will get for the creation creation they are going to give either 200 or 201 now mostly this this postman creation collection creation will give you 200 only that's why i'm giving it sometimes you will get a 201 also so any one so any one of them see that to be one of this you don't know which one you are not sure you can give to be one of pm dot response code you are expecting pm dot response code to be one of either 201 or 200 not both or one of means one of is a method one of is a method any one in this in this array any one okay r r so that's the one we are validating 
but this is enough this is enough so this one is enough but uh, i mean I, I want to show one more extra that is one of this if you want validated you know you are not sure of which one is going to come you can use two status codes also create click and send button see 200 okay 200 okay so both are passed so here also 200 you got right that's why pass two test case pass your collection is created so the collection id name uid so for the collection you have to give collection id or collection uid so next you want to get this collection so you have to give this collection id so you need to store this in the environment variables or global variables so you can create a global variables this value every time it will change this value so how can you store this value in the global environment variables global variables and how can you consume that in the next responses please pay attention this is the crucial for real time one request output how you can store in the global variables then how you can retrieve that in other way other request how you can consume that in another request so that is a very 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 important okay so let's see how to do this how to do this we'll see that so i'm going to do that i'm going to store this id for let's understand here okay let's understand here i want uh, i want to get a collection so get a collection what i need to give collections slash collection id i have to give what is the name what is the i need to give here you have a collection id this is the collection id collection name collection uid this is the collection name we have given see the input what you are given the output is you are getting the same right but these are dynamically generated so every server will have one every collection has a one id so that id i am going to use for my next requests so how to store this let let's go and see that are you all clear till now everybody executed this yes ramesh yes sir yes, so let's sir. go to the test tab yes, validate this uh, two also this okay button this okay also how to validate okay pm dot hmm response response dot 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 okay okay that's it see even 200 you validated okay also you validated so save it but this is not required this is not required but i want to show these methods you should know that's why i have added this okay now so how can i take this entire json data this entire json data so here you have a creating the global variables get global variable is there but we don't want to, first you should store right set environment variable set a global variable can you see here set a global variable set a collection variable so collection variable means only for this collection global variable means you can use in the entire postman that's the variables understand there are three types of variables environment variables global variables collection variables environment variables means environment related like you have a dev environment test environment staging environment production environment right environment wise you have urls and data also will vary so that environment related if you want you will set the environment variables when you will use environment variables so every environment url will be different right this this url this base url this base url base url means this one this base URL is going to be different for every environment. Am I right or not? Who are all working? 
So you will get a, so dev.com, something like that. Your application name, dev.com, you will get if it is a dev environment. If it is a yes. test environment, your application dot test dot com. If it is a, so staging, your application iPhone staging dot com, you will get. So that URLs only changes, but this endpoint doesn't change. Then how can you control that? That you will set your environment, this base URL in the environment variables. So you select here, this is the environment. You can select here what environment variable you are going to set it. So that's how environment variables are used. Then global variables. I told you entire different collections also you want to use. Then you will go for the global. Meaning itself it is selling global. Globally for all the collections you can use that variable. Collection variable means you can set only for that collection. Only this collection. What is our collection here? Only this collection you can use. This, this collection only, this collection variable. I'm going to set the collection variables. Okay. So set collection variables. Let's see. But where is the method? You have to use this in method inside. You have to use this in the method inside. I haven't used it in method inside. So anyhow, let's find, we'll see that. I'll, I'm going to use this method inside any of these methods. But first you have to declare where variable, where, where JSON data, variable, some variable name, JSON data equal to PM dot response dot JSON method included. So now, what is, what is this one? Right side one is this entire one, this entire response. So it is going to have this enter. That I am storing where, which variable? JSON data variable. Is this clear, this line for everyone? How to take this entire value? So where one variable name, any variable name you can give equal to PM dot response dot JSON. That means this response you give in the JSON format I'm saying, and that I'm storing here. So now this entire thing is represented by which variable? This entire response data is represented by which variable? Yes, and data. Yes, and data. Yes, and data variable. Now, I want this ID. Can you tell me the path? JSON data dot Collection dot ID. That's it. First parent. Then next one is collection. Collection. Next one is ID. ID. So that you store in one variable. That is, I'm going to store in another variable where, so where collection ID I will give. Collection ID equal to, so JSON data dot, what is the one? Collection. Collection, collection dot ID. That's it. So now what is happening? This ID value, whatever it is, that will go and store in this variable. Now I need to set this collection. So now you call this variable, set collection variable. Where is that? This one. Or set a global variable, any one you use. I'll use set collection variable. See now, I'm going to give this variable name. So I'll give a name, collection ID. Collection ID. So I'm differentiating and this variable name you have to give. What is the variable name? This is the variable name. This is the key value pair. So now this value I'm going to store in the collection variables. If collection variables are not visible, I'll, I'll store you how to store in the global variable set. Click on set global variables. Same, you do that. I'll give here collection underscore ID. Some differentiating, that's it. Or you view collection ID G. So G collection ID you view, so that you will understand. 
and uh, collection ID here. Okay, that's how we are differentiating. You can use any variable. This is the variable name it is going to give, store in the variables. And this one, so what are the variable name? This is the one, this variable name here. So that means what is the one? This is the data you are storing in this variable. This is the data you are storing in this variable. Like our, we have variable concept, right? In Java. So variable name and value, right? Now this is the variable name and this is the another variable name. I'm storing my collection ID in these variables. But this is the collection variable. This is the global variable. That's the difference. I am showing both of them. Are you clear? I have given the explanation also. Collection variable, where you can use, what is the scope? Global variable, what is the scope? So what is the global variable scope? Entire world. Across, Entire world. across the your postman, how many collections are there? All collections you can use. Then what is the collection variable scope? Inside of a collection. Inside the only for particular collection. Now this one is only for this collection you can use. So I, I can con print it. This I can print it. How can you print console? dot log so if you want to print so you want to know uh, collection id is just so print this collection id so it is missing comma okay that's it See this, where you can see this console, here in the left to bottom, you can see console. Here you are going to see this. So this, here you can see, see it is going to open here console. In the console, you can see the output. See request to response, you can see everything here. Okay, so even response body also you can see here. So you can clear whenever you don't want, you can clear this and you can close it and come back. Where is that? So this console dot log output where you can see, and also whenever you hit the send button where you can see enter this output and this request to header so this everything in the console here. Sorry. Here the bottom side you can see, and you can clear whenever you it is completely full you can clear it and you can do this. Now, so we stored the value, right? We stored the value. Let's execute this. Let's execute this. And we can understand uh, so where it is all this. Okay, Control S. Now click on send button. See this is the value. This value should go and see that. Where you can see that? So in the environment variables, go to global variables. Basically, you can click on this. Not documentation. You have this one. This icon. Environment to quick look, click on this. Can you see here? Uh, this is not the one I want. I don't want the environment, no environment. Click on this. See global variables, you can see, click on global variables. Can you see? GC collection ID, this is not the one, but uh, I'll remove this. So these are old ones. I can create, remove them. Okay. So GC collection ID. See, this is the current value. Right? You can save it. So even you can export this value. See, this is the variable you can use. And uh, that is the one thing. And where you can get a collection variables. Let me see. We can add. So global variable we can use. So environment variable I don't want. I'm not going to concentrate on environment variables now anymore. So I want collection variables. Comments. Oh, what else important? I'll tell you what is meant by code. Okay, anyway, that's uh, as of now we'll use these global variables. So this request output, 
I'll get a name also. Get the name also. Print the name also. So I'll use name also as a variable, right? You can use this variable name also. PM dot. So JSON data, right? JSON data where uh, collection name collection name equal to so JSON data dot. So what is the JSON data after collection dot name. name? That's it. So this name value will go and store in this variable. So you can set this if you want a environment global variables, you can click on set a global variable. If you want to get this global variable, you can get that also. Let me show you that. So this is a collection name. So give this collection name. So what is this collection name? This is the collection name, variable name you are passing. That's it. So you want to get this, you want to get the global variables. So PM dot globals dot get. So you can get here, this you can write it here. You don't need to struggle also. You just simply, you can see, see PM dot globals dot get, give the variable name. So what is the variable name? And I'm giving here, the variable name is uh, whatever this collection name, right? So I can do this. So you want to get one more. So I can give this collection ID. That also you can get it. So you can use it wherever you want. Okay, so that's a you're getting. So PM dot globals, PM dot uh, global set means set the value. Get means it get the value. What is there in the global variables? Okay. So any questions here till now? Are you all clear on how to set the global variables? Then how to consume? I'll show you now. Are you all done? Are any questions here? Hmm? How many of you understood this? No. no. Oh, we missed a many important thing. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one. PM dot collection variables. Okay. So this one, I'm going to use this. PM dot collection variable dot get. That so now it will print even collection variables also. See, you will get a both. See, collection variable, collection name is the global variables and the collection name. All are printed. So global variable value, I can do that. <clears throat> See that, execute this. See, now you're, you're getting a proper readable statement then output. Readable statement, output. Readable statement and output. This is what I did. First, I had written the readable statement. So for your understand this console.log messages, why you will add for our debugging purpose. Otherwise, you don't know, right, whether the what is the value is coming there. That's why we're adding, okay? So this is the how to uh, add global variables, how to set the global variables, all these things. Any questions? How many of you got the variables concept? Is it complex? Okay. 
convenía para otro. ¿Mm? So, Can you explain one more time for a review kind of stuff for the variables? So variables are three types. Environment variables, global variables, collection variables. Environment variables you will use only if you are testing your application in multiple environments. So only the this URL will change environment to environment. That time you will use environment variables. And some values, this, these dynamic values you want to store, you will use a global variables or collection variables. Collection variables only for a particular collection only. Global variables you can use across your postman anywhere. So that's the difference between collection variables and uh, global variables. And uh, to set the global variables, you are just calling pm.globals.set to key and value. Key is your variable name. Value is the value. What is the value? Which value? This ID value. The ID value I'm storing here. How we can get this ID value? The path. The center thing is the JSON data dot collection dot ID. That's what I did here. That I'm storing in this variable. This variable only I used here, 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 everywhere. If you want a name, same. JSON data dot collection dot name field. So this is the one JSON object. Collection is one JSON object. So this object inside, these are all fields. ID one field, name one field, UID one field. So always you will get this entire JSON data dot collection dot ID. Clear? Yes, Ramesh. Thank you. Yeah, Ramesh, one doubt, Ramesh. Hmm. Uh, the environment variable value directly can be added there and uh, can be used yes. later right? wherever you want. You can call yeah, right? I'll show you that. How to add that? Hmm. How to add that? I'll show you that. So you, you click on this, hmm. click on this I icon. Hmm. So click on add. So this is the environment, right? Yes. Click on add. Hmm. So here you go. Like I can give a dev or stage whatever environment. For example, I'll give QA. Okay. So I'll come here, base URL. So I'm going to give my initial value. So what are the initial value? My postman. Uh, this is the this is the server URL. This server URL I'm going to give. That's the one only it changes. That's it. One, one variable I set it. So automatically current value also it is going to come there. Now save this. And everywhere I can replace. Now see that. How I'm going to replace, how I'm going to consume this, this base URL. Go here. I'll remove this. So the base URL I'll remove. So I'll do that, set as a variable. So you can do that. Yes. Within double curly brackets. So in result, what we are given there. So you have to see that. So what we are given. You didn't save. Okay, you have to select here, right? So you see, no, here, see, no environment means it doesn't work out. You have to select the, what is the environment name? See, my environment is visible now, base URL. Okay, so I don't need even tomorrow changes also. I will update there only. I don't need to update here also. Is it worthy or not? See, environment, E for environment variables. Is it useful or not? Right? Yes. yes. Tomorrow changes, you, it will go and change there only. You don't need to change here. Come here and remove that. Just variable name you are giving. 
double curly bracket starts the variable yes, name yeah. and end double curly brackets. So save this. So this is the how to consume environment variables. So, but you have to select here your variable you are selecting. Go to first how to set this environment variables. Top right side, there is an eye icon. I icon. Click on the eye icon. So here this give the environment name and all the variables one by one you give this. So if you click on edit, so it will ask you add one, one more environment variable if you want to add, add here one by one. And give the initial value and the current value if you are changing dynamic means you can give that also. Okay. So that's how you are going to uh, select the environment variables, how to set and how to consume in the values. Are we clear? Yes. yes. So see my all requests will work now. With the, I'm executing with the environment variables. Where I give most. You never were made a making mistake. Hmm. Valid character in header. It is in the header. Header, there is no invalid. So anywhere it is added. So no. Thing. Where is that? Host, host. Where is this host? Invalid character in header content uh, host. Where is this? Header content. And dot com is URL. Sir, we should go inside the global variables, right? You can go anywhere, it doesn't matter. So, environment variables, you can give anywhere. What is this host name? Let me add this. What is this? See what I'm save it. But this is not environment variable, right? Let's see. Mm, that is not going to be environment variable. Mm, get postman.com. 
Let's see now if it is working and why this is too much. Environment variable means you can set in the environment zone. This is taking only base URLs. What about this? Still working without environment. Then environment variable, the meaning is not there. Space, okay. Why are you getting space here? That's it. That's all. See, you're getting a space here. Can you see here? Yeah. It is not understanding that. So here, there is a space. There is a space. Save it. Now it will work. Right? We're good. See, to debug is, it's a difficult. We have to understand and go to console and see that. So I'm going to use this uh, here also. See, uh, it will reflect automatically. You don't need to worry about that. It will reflect automatically everywhere. Now, I'm going to use uh, my See, it is working perfectly, right? So this is how to use the environment variables, how to use the global variables. Still, I need to use more. So we have seen now, till now, how to validate this response body, how to take this dynamic value and uh, how to store in the global variables. How to set environment variables we have seen, how to consume them we have seen, and then how to consume this global variables I have to show that now. Okay, I'll show that. So let's, so you want to take a break or how it is? So that's the second part is very important. I want to create a one more, uh, so get single collection. So I'll create a new folder, overall, select the first mouse over on your collection, three dots, you click, add folder, get single collection. See, this is the single collection is created. Now I can, so duplicate this request uh, see how to duplicate, duplicate it. So I can duplicate this. So I can bring it here. I can add here. See, automatically it came. So here I will change this, to the rename it, get single collection. Get. So why we are making a duplicate is, if you make a duplicate, you don't need to add all the headers, so URLs, so you don't need to make. That's advantage. And here I'll select a get, so get call. So get single collection means, so you go and see the single collection details. I don't need a body. I should not use body for the get call. So that's why I'm disabling this none. Headers I need, so I need this. So the changes I'm separating, go to the, get single collection, wherever the get collection. See this get collection. Click on this, you got this get collection. So now see collection slash collection after this I need to give. So I'm going to give this collection ID variable also. So just to give this as it is. Same you have a collection ID, right? 
Not is allowed. So global variables. So what is the global variable name we have given? GC, right? GC, GC, capital. G. Um, you have to see variable name. What is the variable name you have given? So here you know it. We, whatever the variable name, I am going to give this one. So that's a variable name. That is how to consume your variables. So that's how to consume your variables. See. This the, it is going to show you G, global variable. So that means first I'm creating a collection, then it will go to here, second next folder. So this, whatever you generated ID, that ID I'm consuming for my next request. I'm consuming my global variable for the my next request. So here I created that I am using for my request. I don't want all this. If you want to add anything, you can add. So this is also status code 200 only you will get. So this, this is the one. See, I'm going to use my collection ID here. Basically, you have to give get single collection. This is the base URL collections. I have to give single collection ID. I'm giving a collection ID. That's it. So here collection ID I'm giving, but I'm not hard coding. I'm giving a variable name. So this I have given global variables. See that Z means for G for global variables, E for environment variables. So that's a easily you can differentiate which variable this one, which variable is this one. So now I execute this. See, you got all the 200 okay, you got 200 okay. See, this is the test collection name. So you can, now you can validate this one and previous you already showed collection name, right? In the global variables, that one, both are same or not. It should be same. This is the one of the validation. You can get the name and you can validate. See, I'm going to do that validation. So another test case. So you have, right, a JSON uh, check. So JSON value check. So I'll put here, JSON value check. See where JSON data PM dot response. So PM dot expect JSON data. This entire thing is a JSON data. So JSON data dot. Can you tell me this this path? Can you tell me this path, Kiran? Collection tell, dot. Collection. What I told Kiran this entire path. Entire this thing which variable we stored. So collection. JSON data. JSON data. JSON data variable PM dot response dot JSON. This value is storing in the JSON data variable. This entire thing, response body data, entire thing is storing. PM dot response dot JSON is storing in the JSON data variable. Yes. So this entire thing in the JSON data variable, it is storing. Now, anything, if you want this path first, this entire, what you call this entire thing, JSON data. JSON data, JSON data then what is the path? Then if you want to uh, name. Huh? Collection. If you want to name, JSON what data. is the path first? Yeah. How you will get this name from top to bottom? Collection. 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 Very simple I don't know why you are forgetting that. Collection dot name. Collection, Collection name. dot. Then Info. what is the next one? Info dot name. Info dot. Info dot. Postman Postman ID. ID. Why ID, madams? Name sir. See, this curly name, bracket, name sir. Name. This curly name. bracket. This all one object. These are all fields, fields of this info. Name. This collection is one object. The collection below, this is another object. This object below, you have fields. This you should not tell again. These are individual fields. These are all. I want name means this entire thing is a JSON data. Then JSON data after next collection. Collection after info, info after name. So that you have to give name. 
So to equal, I need to get my global variable. How can you get a global variables? PM dot, PM dot get globals dot global. Okay. So what is the variable name? What is the variable name? G collection ID. G collection ID. And we are validating name, madams. Validating name. Collection name I am validating, not ID. C O L L name. This is the name I have given. That is the one I am going to give this. I'm going to get that value. So whatever the value is here, whatever the value is here, automatically get method will get this key. So getter methods in the collections, remember the collection. Get, get of key. If you give this value, this variable value, what is there that will get. So I'm going to compare expecting this value is equal to this value. That's one validation I'm doing. So another validation I have added. So like that, you can do all this. If you still doesn't know, let me give you the simple thing, how to get the path. Suppose I don't know how to take this path. So there is a JSON path one uh, automatically, it will give you the path. Any JSON response field data, it will give. So just uh, search in the Google JSON path finder, JSON path finder.com jasonpathfinder.com please please make a note of this bookmark this so i'm giving this url bookmark this it will give you the path you don't need to struggle okay so now kiran struggled right so you don't need that uh, problem just you give the all the response data here in the left part this response data you give this entire thing this entire response data you give this copy this i think this is copy only Copied, copied to clipboard, this entire response data copied, and you go here, remove this, and add your uh, paste field, your data. See, this is our data, right? Yes. This is our data or not? Yes, sir. Now yes. Select this. Yes, sir. Expand yes. this, expand this. Next, Info. next collection. This is the collection after Info. Info. See, automatically you got it path. This X is your JSON data. X is your JSON data. That's it. Simple. Anything you want, you will get it automatically. See that here also. For example, you want this name. See, items of zero. First means first array. This is array. Item is array. So why array is square bracket? Any name with a square bracket, that's an array. So that's why first collection. Collection is the parent, parent object. Then collection dot item. Item is an array. So in this array, first, first element. This is the first element. Right? First element. So that first element dot name. So I'm asking this name. So name is given. So this is easy, right? You don't need to worry about that, how to get that. You just select here in the right hand side which field value you want. You will get in the X place. You copy everything in the X place. So I'll copy X place. You will JSON data. Okay, that much easy. PM dot expect. So you write a JSON data. Remaining all you as it is, you paste it. That's it. To equal. You give this. What are the value you want? What is this value? Item, name, same test response, right? You give this name. Okay. So easy or not to get the path. Are you clear now? If you, you don't need to struggle again, I don't know how to get the path. Use the JSON path finder as a bookmark and give your uh, this entire response data and you can get easily. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's a simple, I simplified how to get the any element in the JSON response body. Okay. So that is also done. So we're good.
see two test cases are passed so i am validating uh, json validating body response dating response body fields uh, name and info name info array info array name info or uh, items name so info okay. name info no items array items name items array items array name I can remove this. It's a meaningful uh, no, uh, statement you write so that you will understand. That's it. See, both test cases are passed. This is how to get the single. See, this method output, this request output, I'm using for my next request as a variable. Okay. Can you do this quickly? Have you all done this or uh, still not done? Post create, create collection, have you done? Storing the variables, are you done? No, Ramesh. So can you do that? Or you will do later? I'll do later, my sister. Later. Yeah, we'll do it later. Okay, let's finish the last one then. So post, put post is done. Get is done. I want to do put. So let's create the add another folder. So I want to update collection. See update collection. So I want this one, right? I want this one. I'll so I'll do this. This I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll pull this. See, easy way, and you'll get everything. So you want same base URL collections. So if you go your documentation, you can see this. See, update collection. See, base URL collection. So slash collection ID. Same, you got it right. But I have to change it to put method. So here it is a put. Update means for put. So I'm updating put method. So, but I need headers you are getting as this, but body, I need to give body. So the body, you go and copy from here. So here you have everything. So request, here it is. You can copy this and give it. So I, in this one you do and copy from here, data onwards. Don't take single quotes, okay? Don't take single quotes. So here single quote you should not take. End part single quotes you should not take. Be careful there, okay? And then paste it here. So beautify, it will beautify. Even say there is small mistakes are there is. I am going to update this. So update test collection. If one. February 14th, 2023. Okay. So this collection make a to the postman echo service to update. So that's it. Just simple. I'm just doing some put. So I'm making some modifications. That's a update, right? Just update it. Done. So I updated and uh, here, so this one I don't need, okay. I'll remove this. Otherwise I'll uh, just cut it and I'll reuse later. So 200 only. So this is update collection. So make sure you modify all the things here also, you modify it. If you're not modifying, all will get as a create only. Update. See, it is updated. Name is changing now. Name is changing now. Update test collection. So, this is how you can get. Again, if you want this name to be set, you can set that. 
Okay, 200, okay, we validated 200, okay, both we validated. If you want to set this new name, updated name if you want, take another global variables. So set the variable names. Uh, you first take the JSON check and then, so I'm going to remove this. So I want to validate this ID, whatever is their ID, both are same or not, right? It should be same, right? See, this ID and this ID should be same. I want that validation, right? How can we do that validation? Can you tell me? So JSON data dot, I want this ID. How can you get that ID? Can you tell me now? Collection dot ID. Collection dot ID. Collection dot ID. To equal, how can you get a global variable value? PM dot. Get global. Get global. Global. Get. What is the variable name? Give double quotes inside a variable name. What is the variable name? E collection ID. E collection, collection ID. So give this. So you are modifying for the same collection or not you have to validate that I validated. So I want to set this variable name, updated value name. How can I set it? So set global variable, you can see, set global variable value. I can set it. So I'll write updated collection name. So this value, I can type directly. How can you get, tell me the name path. Tell me the name path. Jason data. Jason data. Jason data. Collection dot name. Name. That's it. See now you are doing a validations also and you can set the values also. You are setting, you can go and see this variable value. It will set. See now in the global variable, updated name. Is it coming or not? So this is how to set the variable values. Any variable value, you can set it. So using globals.set method. Set method, remember, so I already told in the Java also, setter method is for updating a value, setting the value. Getter method is for getting this variable value. Are we clear? So we have done unauthorized, get all collections, create single collection, get that single collection, update that single collection. So let me rename it. Update collection. So done. And last one. So are you clear on this? Yes. Yes. So let's move on. Last one. Delete collection. Mm -hmm. So if you want to delete, I need this one only. I'll make a duplicate. You get anything, okay? Just a drag and drop to this one, okay? It will go there. Are we good? See that yes. and rename it. Rename it. Okay. Delete collection. Delete. See, delete collection. You need this one. And I don't need body. So test cases. So these are all things I need. So maybe I'll remove this. So which one you want to delete? This last one I want to delete. This ID only I want to delete it. So delete it. Go and delete that. See, 200, okay, deleted. So this one is deleted. Sorry, I'm using get call. But which one we need to use? Delete. 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 
delete you have to use. We made a mistake. So once you delete, you should not, uh, you won't get it. See, what do you get? 200 OK yeah. ID. So I have to use this again validation. What is the validation? Same or not. This ID and this ID is same or not. Okay. I have to validate. So let's go and validate that. How to validate? PM.expect. So how to get this uh, collection? Yeah. Collection dot ID. ID. And how can you get this uh, global variable value? PM dot global 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 dot get get what is the variable G global global G global G collection G collection G collection G collection okay so this is the how to validate so after this so you deleted. So after deleting again, one more time, if you hit, what will happen? So what are you reading? Four of not four. four, not four, 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 four. four. Oh, so let's do, let's do this. So let's do the negative test case. So instance not found. I'll, I'll create one more request here. So do that same duplicate it. So try to delete and try to get it also. If you try to, I'll try to get it. Okay, let's get it. So I'll get a call. Okay. Get call, I'll use. Rename it. Get deleted collection. Get deleted collection. So get deleted collection. See, now it is get deleted. So you should get, what is the status code you, you should get? Four zero four not four not found. You should get a four, four, four not four, four not found. found. So that is the what you need to get it. So and message also. What is this message? You need to see. Not found. Not found. Not found. Not found. Not found. Yes. Not found is there? Did you find? Not found. See that? Yes, you have not found and this one any messages you want will validate but okay so let's run this see 404 not found you got that also 404 you verified test case passed now i need to get this name and message so let's validate that so i'll validate so what is the validation you have to do so this yes. can you tell me this name i want name that's it. You got it now. See? And give this value. E equals within double quotes. This value. Same message also, you get it. Well read that also. All this body inside, whatever is there, you have to validate. So what is here? You have to do message. message. And equal to this one. But if you want to, I don't want to give bigger thing. So you can do instead of equal, you can do one thing. To include is there. Include means it should be there. That is the meaning. Include. This one, only single thing you can find, you can give. We could not find, just you can add a little bit. Okay? Not necessary to give complete. That's a include means. Let's execute. It should be the starting or it can be anywhere from the... Like anywhere. The anywhere. Contains. contains. Let's say contains. Okay? See, both are passed. So, validating... Not validating body fields. Error, name and message. Write meaningful so that it will be easy for you. When you see the test cases here, you can understand easily here. Okay, so this is the test cases, how to add all of them. 
Okay, that's all, and we are good with Postman with the environment variables with a lot of validations. Everything. Okay, that's it.